Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students so in the previous class uh, we concluded the part where we saw um, how vector calculus can be applicable to um, to uh, mechanics or applied mathematics and uh, there we derived several equations of motion for uh, particles uh, under certain uh, uh, laws of physics and uh, we also derived um, formulas for momentum, angular momentum and uh, things like that. So now um, we are at a stage that uh, we can move to the integral uh, part of the vector calculus which is basically the line integral, surface integral and volume integral and uh, they basically include um, uh, Green's theorem, Gauss theorem and uh, Stokes theorem. So we will also uh, learn about uh, these three important theorems of uh, vector calculus. So today we are going to start with line integral. So basically in vector calculus any integral along a, along a curve is uh, called as a line integral in a nutshell actually. So um, um, to start with uh, we will start with line integrals we will start with line integrals. So, any integral, any integral which is to be evaluated, which is to be evaluated along a curve, along a curve is called a line integral, is called a line integral. So, uh, basically we know that uh, equation of a curve. So, suppose the equation of the curve is given by R t is equals to F t which is equals to basically X t i. So, three components X t i y t j plus Z t k be the uh, be the given equation of the curve and uh, suppose we are integrating. So, suppose we are integrating uh, be the given equation um, of the curve joining two points. So, two points which are let us say um, A at uh, t equals to t 1 and uh, the second point is b at uh, t equals to t 2. So, since these are obvious, I am not drawing any figure all right and uh, suppose we have a capital F. So, we have a capital F which is a function of x, y and z uh, and it is given as a capital F 1 x, y, z i plus a capital F 2 f y uh, x, y, z j plus capital F 3 x, y, z, k. So, these are all functions of x, y and z all right. Now, we are evaluating uh, uh, this function. So, suppose this is a function uh, is a vector function is a vector function uh, defined and continuous and continuous along c. And uh, if small s denotes the arc length, denotes the arc length of the curve C, then d r d s as we know is the unit tangent vector, then d r d s t is the unit tangent vector, unit tangent vector to the curve C to the curve C at the point P whose position vector is R at a point P whose position vector is R and then the comp and uh, then the component then the component of F along the tangent 
is f dot d r d s. So, this is the component and uh, the integral basically and the integral of this component of d, uh, f along c along c from a to b is given by so basically we integrate from uh, a to b f uh, dot d r d s so basically um, this here times d s uh, so we are integrating uh, along the along the arc length and this can be written as integral from a to b f dot d r and if we want to write in terms of the uh, in terms of t then we can be able to write this as uh, um, integral t running from t 1 to t 2 f dot d r d t times d t. So, basically the point A is um, is, uh, is um, attained at the at the point uh, at t is equal to t 1 and the point B is attained at t is equal to t 2. So, we divide both sides by d t and uh, so we divide uh, sorry not both sides we divide uh, bo uh, this um, d r by uh, d t and we multiply it by d t and then that is basically your uh, integral um, of this uh, f dot d r d t. We can also uh, write it as uh, a Cartesian. Uh, in the Cartesian form. So, this one will be f 1 times d x d t plus f 2 times d y d t plus uh, f 3 times d z d t times d t. So, this is the required um, integral uh, of this uh, function f dot d r d s uh, along the point from the point a to b. So, uh, in this case we are actually integrating along a curve. So, c is the given curve and uh, which can be smooth or which can be piecewise smooth. So, when it is piecewise smooth then we integrate along the one piece then we integrate along the second piece. So, like in part part we can do the integration. So, um, um, this is what we mean by uh, what we mean by line integral along a curve. And uh, when we talk about, uh, so there is a small definition here. So, in the line integral, we can also talk about circulation. So, what do we mean by circulation? So, if C is a simple curve, if C is a simple closed curve, is a simple closed curve, that is, i.e., that is a curve which does not intersect which does not intersect itself anywhere. So, there is no looping there. So, it is uh, it is not intersecting itself anywhere then the tangent then the tangent line then the tangent line in integral of f around c is called the circulation circulation of f about c and uh, it is often denoted by this symbol and we write it as f dot d r is equals to integral c f 1 d x f 2 d y f 3 d z. So, this is the required definition of this circulation of f around the curve c. All right. So, now we will uh, try to solve some examples uh, on the line integral because line integral makes more sense when you actually try solving some examples uh, than learning about the theory. So, let us start with our first example. So, let us 
So, when we solve the examples uh, the concept will become even more clear. So, evaluate the first example is evaluate integral over the curve C f dot dr where our f x y z is basically where f x y. So, we are in 2 D. So, f x y is equals to x square times i plus y y cube times j where and and sorry not where and uh, c is the arc of the parabola is the arc of the parabola y is equals to x square in x y plane. in x y plane from 0 0 to 1 1. So, basically we here we have a, a vector function f and we need to calculate the line integral of this function f along the curve c, where c is the arc of the parabola from 0 0 to 1 1. Now, here in this case, uh, so basically if we want to draw the figure then this is our x, this is our y 0 and uh, that is our parabola touching the origin and we have to calculate the line integral along 0 0 and then 1 1. So, along this arc, so let us say O A O basically. So, along this arc um, we have to evaluate the line integral for this function f. So, now what we do, uh, we form a parametric equation. So, that, me that means, um, we involve a parameter t and uh, we find the range for that parameter t which will satisfy this parabolic equation. So, let x equals to t and uh, then y will be t square and uh, if r is the if r is the position vector, position vector of any point on C, then our r t can be written as x t i plus y t j, which is t i plus t square j and uh, t will be. So, when x is 0, t is 0, when y x is 1, t is 1. Similarly, when y is 0, t is 0, when y is 1, t is 1. So, uh, basically t will be running from 0 to 1. All right. Now, uh, we will calculate dr dt from here. So, our dr dt is i plus 2 t j. All right. So, we have got our dr dt thus integral over the curve c f dot dr is equals to integral t running from 0 to 1. Our f will be so along this curve along this curve uh, we are or we are integrating uh, along this curve c. So, in that way x is basically our t square and y is basically our uh, x is basically t and y is t square. Yeah. So, I mean I squared after. So, so, this is t square i plus t to the power 6 j times I will make it dr dt. All right. So, I will make it dr dt. So, then in that case this will be 1 to 0 t square i plus t to the power 6 j dot product with dr dt which is i plus 2 t j times dt. So, now we will take the dot product and sorry this one will be 0 to 1. And now, we take the dot product and this will be um, integral from t, uh, t running from 0 to 1 uh, t plus 2 t to the power 7. So, t square plus 2 t to the power 7 d t right. And uh, when we integrate then this will be t 
to the power 8 divided by 8 whole thing evaluated from 0 to 1. So, this will be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. So, that means um, 7 by 12. So, this is the required answer. So, when we integrate the given vector function f along this um, uh, parabola from the point 0 0 to 1 1 that will be our required answer. So, you see when we are actually working out the example we, um, you get to see what I actually mean by this line integral. So, it is not always a line I mean it is not it is not uh, something like a straight line. So, when we say a line integral that means uh, we are integrating along some curve uh, which can be smooth which can be piecewise smooth which can be simple closed curve um, things like that. So, these are the certain uh, uh, properties our curve can have and based on that we can calculate the line integral. We will work out few more examples just to make the concept a uh, bit more clear. So, now um, let us consider an another example. So, if f x y equals to 3 x y times i minus y square j then evaluate integral line integral f dot dr uh, where c is the curve in the x y plane y is equals to 2 x square um, from 0 0 to 1 1. So, this example is also pretty much similar to the previous example. So, here the given equation is again a parabola. So, we have to assume x equals to t and y is equals to 2 uh, and y is equals to then will be 2 t square and at both of these two points the equation will satisfy therefore, uh, t will run from 0 to 1 I, and uh, from there just integrating like before will give you the required answer. So, this example is exactly like the previous example. So, I leave this example up to the students for them to practice. Uh, we will now move on to, um, to our next uh, example which is uh, this one example 3. So, the example 3 is uh, evaluate Uh, x dy minus y dx around the circle x square plus y square equals to 1. So, here the given equation of the curve, the given equation of the curve c is basically a circle x square plus y square equals to 1. So, the circle is actually a simple closed curve because it is not forming any kind of loop. So, it is not intersecting itself, it is actually a simple closed curve. So, this is nothing but the circulation of the function f. It is also very easy to get the function f from here. Uh, Let us see. So, uh, the given equation of the uh, of the circle is uh, x square plus y square equals to 1. So, from here, so from here uh, from the equation of the curve. of the curve we have uh, x equals to uh, so basically the radius of the circle. So, radius is 1 obviously. So, we have cos t and y is equals to sin t where t is running between 0 to 2 pi because we have a closed uh, closed circle. So, our t will be running from 0 to 2 pi and uh, this function here x dy minus y dx can be written as um, can be written as uh, y minus y i plus x j dot product with d x i plus d y j and uh, this is nothing but f dot d r where this is actually f and this is actually d r right. And uh, from here I can be able to write uh, f dot 
d r d t times d t. So, this uh, d r d t can be calculated very easy, easily. So, d r d t is nothing but d x d t i plus d y d t j which is minus sin t plus cos t. So, from here what we will obtain is. Um, so, um, the equation of the curve Uh, it can be written as or can be given by can be given by r t equals to x t i plus y t j. So, x t is basically cos t i plus sin t j right and now we will take d r d t. So, d r d t is minus sin t i plus cos t j all right. So, now I will do the integration. So, now we have integration over the curve uh, c x d y minus y d x which can also be written as integral over the curve c um, f dot d r d t. So, what is our f? f is minus y i and uh, y is sin t and x is cos t. So, we substitute these values. So, y is sin t and x is cos t dot product with d r d t. So, d r d t is minus of sin t i plus cos t j. So, this is minus of sin t i plus cos t j times d t and here t is running from 0 to 2 pi. So, we will take the dot product and that will result into sin square t plus cos square t. So, ultimately the whole thing will be 1 and therefore, we will have integration of d t which is something like this right and when we integrate then we substitute the value and then this is basically 2 pi. So, the circulation of the vector function f which is given by this way which is given by this way is actually equals to 2 pi along that circle c. So, sometimes you are not given the function f and some and uh, there you have to actually obtain the vector function f. So, it is also a little bit uh, um, small trick it is not actually complicated it is very easy to see what can be our function f b. So, um, just have a look at the given uh, vec uh, given integral and from there you can be able to evaluate okay, this will be my, ve my vector function f. Uh, which I need to uh, take a dot product with uh, with d r d t and uh, from the given equation of the curve where you have to calculate the uh, integral you can be able to find out the equation of the curve in vector form and then you calculate d r d t and then the rest of the things are same as the example 1. So, like we did in this example. So, we calculated the circulation of the function f which was not given. So, we calculated the vector function f along the given curve c. All right. So, we can have uh, examples uh, similar to this uh, many examples similar to this actually. So, um, I am just uh, looking into my lecture note which one to consider. Um, so, uh, now uh, what we will do let us consider and uh, this example. So, here in this example example 4 I believe. So, evaluate f dot d r where f x y z is basically x y i plus y z j plus z x k uh, and the given curve is uh, r is equals to t i plus t square j plus t cube k where t runs from minus 1 to plus 1. Now, this is not a very complicated example. So, from the given equation from the given equation of the curve which is this one we can be able to obtain our x t which is t our y t which is t square and our z t which is t cube. 
and then we substitute x t y t and z then we substitute x t y t and this uh, z t the basically in this equation and uh, we do d r d t and then we calculate d r d t from here and then we substitute the value of d r d t and we integrate from minus 1 to plus 1. So, here in this example it is um, it's, it's just that the equation a vector, I mean how to say in the Cartesian form x t y t and z t the, the equation of the curve is not given, but the vector equation of the curve is given. So, from there extracting x t y t and z t is uh, relatively simple. So, here um, uh, we see that uh, in this example um, you can actually be able to write x t y t and z t although they are not given. So, you see um, these examples I mean one thing is not given then you can be able to obtain the other thing similarly the other thing is given then you can be able to obtain the first thing. So, it is all about doing practice and getting used to the examples of this type they are not complicated they are just playing with some some parameters that is that is that is pretty much it. And from here on onwards you can be able to solve this example very easily just substitute these values just substitute these values here do the dr dt from here and then integrate from minus 1 to plus 1 and then everything is like piece of cake all right. So, this is also very simple yet uh, how to say uh, a nice example. Uh, next I am going to consider an example which is um, I personally like. So, here we have to evaluate evaluate like before f dot dr where our given vector function f x y is x square plus y square times i minus 2 x y j where c is the curve where c is the rectangle the rectangle in the x y plane uh, x equals to a y is equals to 0 x equals to a x y is equals to b and x equals to 0. So, the solution. So, here as you can see we have a rectangle. So, obviously it is not a smooth curve because then you have 4 corners here. So, if I if I draw this curve so that is our x axis this is origin this is y axis. So, this is my x equals to 0 line this is x equals to a and that is y is equals to 0 and that is y equals to b. So, I can write it as a b c. So, this is our this is our curve right not the not the middle portion the curve this one. All right. So, now it depends on us which direction are we following are we calculating in this direction or are we calculating in this direction. So, that is one thing. Now, the second thing is that um, whatever we get uh, along this direction uh, we just have to take um, uh, take uh, the, the reverse direction actually when we are on the upper side. All right. So, uh, this is um, a very interesting example and uh, we will actually try to solve this in our next class because it will require some time to, uh, to, to see the interesting part of this example. So, um, I will uh, stop here for today and uh, in the next class we will continue with this example and I thank you for your attention and I look forward to your next class.